बी एस जोलॉजी थर्ड सेमेस्टर फाइनल टर्म फाइलम एनली टर्म टूडे वी हैव क्लास हिटिनिया विद ऑल सिस्टम फॉर डिस्कशन लेक्चर इज डिलीवर्ड बाय शबाना वली एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड Herodinia in classification of phylum Annelida it is the third last but not the least class of phylum Annelida class Herodinia contain approximately 5000 500 species of leeches most leeches are freshwater others are marine or completely terrestrial so these are habitats for Herodini leeches spray on small invertebrates or feed on the body fluids of vertebrate so their mode of nutrition is just like parasites or predators students if we want to know about the structure of leech leeches lake parapodia and head appendages CT are absent in most leeches in a few species CT occur only in interior segments i told you before that their mode of nutrition or mode of living is just like parasites or predate parasites and predators that accordingly their systems modified leeches are dorsoventrally flattened and taper interiorly they have 34 segments but the segments are difficult to distinguish extremely because they have become secondarily divided several second secondary divisions called annuli are in each two segment anterior and posterior segments are usually modified into suckers modifications of body wall musculature cilium influence pattern of leech locomotion the musculature of leeches is more complex than that of other annelids a layer of oblique muscle is between the circular and longitudinal muscular layer in addition dorso ventral muscles are responsible for the typical leech flattening cilium the leech cilium has lost its metameric partitioning septa are lost and connective tissues have invaded the cilium resulting in a series of interconnecting sinuses here i want to distinguish between prey predators and parasites parasites are those living beings which depend on other living beings by attaching themselves externally or internally to the body of the host while predators are those living organisms who hunt their prey by attacking on other living organisms now we have locomotion of herodinia locomotion these modifications have resulted in altered patterns of locomotion the leech has a single hydrostatic cavity and uses it in a looping type of locomotion leeches also swim using undulation of the body attachment of the posterior sucker causes reflexive release of the anterior sucker contraction of circular muscle and relaxation of longitudinal muscles this muscular activity compresses fluids in the single hydrostatic compartment and the leech extends attachment of the anterior sucker causes reflexive release of the posterior sucker the relaxation of circular muscles and the contraction of longitudinal muscles causing body fluid to expand the diameter of the leech 
the lead shortens and the posterior sucker again attaches so students should observe antagonistic uh, pairs of muscles or antagonistic movements of longitudinal and circular muscles now we have feeding and digestive system many leeches feed on body fluids or the entire bodies of other invertebrates some feed on the blood of vertebrates including human blood leeches are sometimes called parasites but leeches are predators and are also not species specific as are most parasites digestive system in some leeches the anterior digestive tract is modified into a protrusible proboscis lined inside and outside by cuticle in others the mouth is armed with three titanium jaws the mouth of a leech opens in the middle of the anterior sucker while feeding a leech attaches to its prey by the anterior sucker and either extends its proboscis into the prey or uses its jaws to slice through host tissues glands are present these are salivary glands these ex secrete an anti anticoagulants called hirudin hirudin that prevents blood from clotting behind the mouth is the muscular pharynx that pumps body fluids of the prey into the leech the esophagus follows the pharynx and leads to large stomach with lateral cecum most leeches ingest large quantities of blood or other body fluids and gorge their stomachs gorge means fill up completely in lateral cecum increasing their body mass up to 2 to 10 times after engorgement a leech can tolerate period of fasting that may last for months so it means they have need to suck the blood throughout day and night once they engorge themselves then they depend on it for months the digestive tract ends in the short intestine and anus leeches exchange gases across the body wall some leeches retain the basic analyte circulatory pattern but in most leeches its circulatory pattern is highly modified and siloam sinuses replace vessels siloamic fluids had has taken over the function of blood and except in two orders respiratory pigments are lacking respiratory pigments are oxygen carrying compounds nervous system the leech nervous system is similar to that of other annelids ventral nerve cords are unfused except at the ganglia the suprapharyngeal and subpharyngeal ganglia and the pharyngeal connectives all fuse into a nerve ring that surrounds the pharynx ganglia at the posterior end now we have nervous system in hirudin the leech nervous system is similar to that of other annelids ventral nerve cords are unfused except at the ganglia the suprapharyngeal and subpharyngeal ganglia and the pharyngeal connectives all fuse into a nerve ring that surrounds the pharynx ganglia at the posterior end of the animal fuse in a similar way after that we have sensory organs for discussion a variety of epidermal sense organs are widely scattered over the body most leeches have photoreceptor cells in pigment in pigment cups their number are from 2 to 
along the dorsal surface of the anterior segments. Normally, leeches are negatively phototactic, but when they are searching for food, the behavior of some leeches changes and they become positively phototactic, which increases the likelihood of contacting prey that happen to pass by. Hirudo medicinalis, the medicinal leech, has a well-developed temperature sense, which helps it to detect the higher body temperature of its mammalian prey. Other leeches are attracted to extracts of prey tissues. All leeches have sensory cells with terminal bristles in a row along the middle annulus of each segment. These sensory cells, called sensory papillae, are of uncertain function but are taxonomically important. After dis uh, discussing the nervous system and sensory function, we have excretion in leeches. Leeches have 10 to 17 pair, pairs of metanephridia, one per segment in the middle segments of the body. Their metanephridia are highly modified and persist in addition to the nephrostome and tubule, a capsule believed to be involved with the production of silomic fluid. Chloragogen tissue. Chloragogen tissue, as we discussed in previous classes of phylum analyte, proliferates through the body cavity of most leeches. Reproduction and development is the next headline of class Heritinaria. All leeches reproduce sexually and are monoecious. None are capable of asexual reproduction or regeneration as we have discussed in previous classes of phylum Annelida. They have these abilities. They have a single pair of ovaries and from four to many testes. Leeches have a clitellum that include three body segments. The clitellum is present only in the spring when most leeches breathe. All leeches reproduce sexually and are monoecious. None are capable of asexual reproduction or regeneration while both of these qualities have been reported in previous classes. They have a single pair of ovaries and form four to many testes. Leeches have a clitellum that includes three body segments. The clitellum is present only in the spring when most leeches breed. Sperm transfer and egg deposition usually occur in liquor caves. A penis assists sperm transfer between individuals. A few leeches transfer sperm by expelling a spermatophore from one leech into the integument of another. A form of hypodermic impregnation. Special tissues within the integument connect to the ovaries by short duct. In case of development, cocoons are deposited in the soil or are attached to underwater objects. There are no larva sta larval stages and the offspring are mature by following spring. I think you understood all these points which are concerned with the class Rutinaria. Thank you for watching.